This explain everything will explain everything you want to know about using the formula for area to tile a floor. Okay, let's look at the first problem. Ms. Moskow wants to retile the floor of her classroom. The classroom has a length of 18 feet, right here, and a width of 11 feet. She's planning on using 12 inch tiles. How many 12 inch tiles will she need? We know that a 12 inch tile is the same as saying it's a one square foot tile. So we want to know how many square foot tiles she will need. We know that the formula for area is base times height or length times width. So for this problem, we're going to do 11 times 18. Let's see, to find the area and 8 times 1 is 8 and 8 times 1 is 8 and 1 times 1 is 1 and 1 times 1 is 1 we add it and we have 8 9 8 that's a 9 not a 4 so the number of tiles that she will need to tile this classroom will be 198 square foot tiles. Okay, and here is what 198 12 inch tiles would look like. You could count the tiles. There are 198 all together. You could count them or you could just multiply 11 times 18 and know that that is 198. Here is where our problem gets a little trickier. Miss Moskwa wants to retile the floor of her classroom. The classroom has a length of 18 feet and a width of 11 feet, which is the same as our, our old classroom in the last problem, 11 by 18. She's planning on using 6-inch tiles. How many 6-inch tiles will she need? Well, we know that area for an 11 by 18 inch room is 198 square feet. But look at the next slide and we'll look at the difference between a square foot tile and a six inch tile. And I'll make a quick correction there because some of you, I'm sure, heard me say that the classroom was 11 by 18 inches. That clearly is not the case. Our, the classroom is 11 by 18 square feet. Okay, let's pretend that this is a one square foot tile. It's 12 inches on each side. That's what makes it one square foot. But imagine we want to tile the floor with six inch tiles. Half of, I'm going to change colors so that you can see it better. Let's see. Half of 12 is 6, and half of this side is 6. And if I measured in, I would have 6 here and 6 here. I also have, let's see if I can mark that for you, another 6 inches, another 6 inches, and another 6 inches here. That's a 6 inch square. This is a six inch square. If I were to measure down this side, I would have a six inch this side, six inches here, another six inches here for another six inch square, and then six inches across, six inches across, that's six here and six here for another six inch tile. So within every square foot tile, I have four six inch tiles. One, two, three, four. Now you'll remember from earlier in our problem that when our when the area was completed of foot one foot square tiles, we had 198. Now imagine that each one of these Imagine this one right here was now divided into four. 
because we saw on the previous slide that every single 12 inch tile can be divided into four six inch tiles. Sorry, this doesn't work very good in small spaces. Remember. So keep in mind that now every single square foot tile has four six inch tiles within it. So now what we really need to do is we need to multiply 198 tiles Oops. gosh I wish that worked better times 4 I'm gonna go to the next slide and we'll do the multiplication here we go we have 198 square foot tiles times 4 because there are 4 6 inch tiles in every square foot tile. So we have 8 times 4 is 32. And 4 times 9 is 36, 37, 38, 39. And 4 times 1 is 4 plus 3 is 7. 792 six inch tiles. Just remember, problems like these can seem complicated. You just have to, sometimes you have to draw a picture, sometimes you have to go through several steps in order to get the answer. Don't give up, don't quit, slow down, take your time, and work through these problems.